A lasso is a classic cowboy tool designed for catching running cattle. On one end, there's a moving noose you throw over the animal's head. This loop then tightens around the neck or horns, safely stopping the animal in its tracks. Or that's the theory. Ride em, cowboy. Working a lasso requires tremendous skill, so much so that some rodeos typically hold roping contests and feature performances of astonishing manoeuvres. The rope maker starts by looping five nylon threads around a bushing mounted on a travelling box. He ties the end onto the first of three spinning eyes, then runs the five threads around the bushing and the second spinning eye, then back to the bushing. He then hops on his cart and drives the travelling box to another travelling box, pulling the threads for this lasso to a length of 14 metres. He transfers the threads from the bushing to a spinning eye on this second travelling box, then pulls the threads back to make the other half of the rope. When he arrives at the starting point, he loops the threads through a third spinning eye. Then he pulls all the threads to equal tension, cuts them from their spools and ties them off. The twisting process is next. A motor turns three spinning eyes, twisting the ten threads on each one into a strand, and the three strands together into a lasso rope. The twisting force pulls the two boxes towards each other. The rope maker puts a certain amount of weight in each box, and that determines the stiffness of the rope. A rope this length takes about five minutes to twist. The end is wrapped with electrical tape, so that the rope won't unravel when it's cut loose. Here he pulls the rope at the centre to release some tension. Then just beyond the taped end, he snips the strands free. He knots them, then trims the ends with a hot blade that slices the nylon threads by melting them. He lays the rope in piping hot wax, and this treatment permeates the threads deep inside, setting the twist. After suspending the rope for a while to let the excess wax drip off, he connects it to a pulling mechanism inside a heated room, or weather permitting, outdoors, under the hot sun. Stretching for a couple of days pulls out any waves, ensuring the rope lies perfectly straight. He then cuts off the knot and unravels just enough rope to tie a knot for what's called a hondu. That's the eye in the rope which helps build the loop. On the other end, he ties a different type of knot, one which will keep the rope from unravelling. Using pliers and a vise, he pulls both knots tight. Then slices off the excess with the hot blade. And burns the ends to seal them. Now, he ties the hondu. The hondu slides along the rope, loosening and tightening the loop. He hangs the hondu on a hook, and using a specially designed wheel, pulls it tight. Then he sews a piece of raw hide, called the burner, into the eye of the hondu. It prevents the eye from burning through, as the rope slides through it. And banging it with a hammer, seats it in the rope grooves. Finally, he stamps the company name on it, and marks the rope's stiffness. Lassoes come in various degrees of stiffness, for different types of animals and purposes, such as roping cattle by the head or by the heels. Sholong, partner.